I carry various methods of fixing flats. I've got towing accessories. I've got uh, fluids for various systems of the vehicle, extra propane, 30 foot tow strap. I had to use that with this come along. Here's a jack. I've got jumper cables that I can boost off my own internal battery under the cook stove there, which is charged from that solar panel. There's a SAS survival handbook. I've also got the Red Cross manual, the first aid manual. N95 masks for forest fires or pandemics. There's my car repair manual, his first aid kit. Oh, I carry between five and seven gallons of water at any given time and extra food. Underneath the vehicle, I've replaced the little donut that's sent with these minivans. I put a full-size spare under there. Inside, I've kept the little donut with me for the time being. I've got winter gear, work gloves. I've got boots. I've got hand warmers, extra hiking boots. There's my solar evacuated cooking tube. Little bath mat to stand on. These are snow socks. They're a textile that you... Put around your tire they're just as effective as chains i've got all the tools under here to do most any repair on my vehicle i even got a axle not to take the wheels off there's a full-size shovel there's a wood saw there's waterproofing spray under there wet wipes tarp lots of things under there that i haven't mentioned various forms of combustion uh, a tire pump i don't recommend this one i got a foot pump Here's my other first aid kit, extra cash, anti-nausea drugs, allergy medication, other stuff like that. There's a rain suit. It's good to have that. I've been wet many times. I wish I had one. LED headlight, compasses, candles, hand sanitizer. I've got alcohol wipes, multivitamin, wind-up radio. Very useful. Love this. Uh, hand warmers. Very effective. I've got extra fuses and relays for the vehicle, and I conduct myself in a safe manner on top of having all this stuff. I've got, you know, lots of experience where things have gone bad, or I've gotten stuck and had to dig myself out and winch myself out. Not fun. So I err on the side of caution, but, you know, I don't live in fear. I've got these things in case I need them, and that's just how I live in general. So stay safe out there. Think about what you're doing. And be prepared.